Loosen it. Loosen it. Loosen it. Loosen it. Yeah, that's what it means. Hold on to it now. Okay. Pull. Pull. Good job, Jess. Yes. Good job. Guess what? Jess is eight years old. Mm -hmm. Eight, right? And he never flew a kite before. Uh, yeah. A little bit probably when you were in Grenada as a little boy. Yeah. But you don't remember. Mm -hmm. You don't remember. I didn't I didn't I can't even remember seeing a kite. <laughs> exactly. So kite flying in Grenada as a boy growing up was a big 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 deal. Right? It's, it was one of my favorite times of the year. I look forward to it with great anticipation. But that part of my tradition, this is not too way of it because we moved here to Canada several years ago and just never grew up flying kites, right? So guess what? This Easter here in Canada, I want to teach Jess how to make and fly, fly a kite. You looking forward to it, Jess? Awesome! Alright. <laughs> Nice, so this is looking forward to it. So listen, if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and like. And comment. And comment. And share. And share, exactly. I am Daddy Spectacular, and I believe that as fathers, we need to play a more fundamental role in the lives of our children. So on this channel, it's all about creating awareness as to what it is to be a spectacular dad. So listen, you need to subscribe, do the right thing, and subscribe. So the first step in preparing a kite is mm -hmm. you need to have the you need to have the frame, what, right? What? The frame, like a board frame, like you know when you frame in a house, we're making a house. Sometimes yes. you frame it up, putting the you know the pillars oh. and stuff like that. So you need a frame. Yeah. So you need two long ones, right? Mm -hmm. So you need so this needs to go like this. An X. But like how are you X. gonna stick? A X, mm -hmm. and then you need a cross piece huh? to come like this, right? And then you need um, one to come up like this here, right? But then the cross piece has to be shorter than the two long pieces. So usually, right, you just basically decide on how long you're gonna make the cross piece. So probably you just put it up and you just kind of estimate it right. so I'm thinking I'm gonna cut this cross piece like here right so it's just an estimate cut this there <laughs> what if it's not white hmm? what if you don't want it there if you don't want it there mm -hmm. then you just make it over but since I have been making kites like exactly what to do so nice so you have a two long piece yes. like this you have a cross piece mm -hmm. that goes like this and then you need piece to come here all right so usually with this piece here you so like you just here. estimate it and then you cut it like like here yeah. and then you could always you always want to cut it longer than you need because you could always cut it to fit after you do the entire setup Like the 
right? So you have other pieces now, right? You have your two long pieces. So you basically need how many pieces now? How many here? Four. Right, so you need four. So two long pieces, you need a cross piece, and you don't want to go up like that. So the trick now is that because you're gonna use a thread to frame the kite, and I'm gonna show you what you what you what I mean by that. We want to prepare like a kind of groove here in each of the the frame. See, like make a groove so the thread could go in there and settle oh, when you're framing like, the kite. When like you pass the thread, mm -hmm. go oh, through. Like if you put this like. You will stay, you wouldn't run, right? You would just go in the groove there and fit nice cool. in the groove. But you have to cut it a little deep. Yeah. So all that you have to do that without cutting your finger, right? You see right there now? Do it. Oh, I understand. Okay. So you make the groove. See the groove coming together there nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you basically do that for all the different um, pieces. pieces. So, so now that we have all the grooves in, in for the thread to come and fit like nicely here. Right, so the thread, mm -hmm. the thread gonna just come between the, the groove like that and fit nicely. Right? Now it's time. Now it's time. Listen, this is gonna come together beautifully, so you need to you need to stay tuned. So now we need to put it all together. So I have this piece of wood here, I don't want um, the nail to damage the flooring. So first of all you just get a nice spot. Right? You, and then you nail it. So when you're nailing it, just you just need to leave a space here because you need to bore a hole like right here for a thread to run in that hole. And you're gonna see how what I mean after. But just just know for now that when you are doing this one here, when you put it in the first nail, you have to make it there. So the next piece you're gonna nail is the cross piece, right? So in the shorter piece. So the thing is, is that you have to nail it like right in the center. So, if I get my tape, I'll just put my tape again, get the length of it, which is Go ahead and pound the nail. Wait, 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 wait. But when you pound the nail, Mr. Man, you have to eat it like straight, okay? Okay. Come. No, just you bend the nail, man. Oh, that's a. So you see the X, right? Now the kite coming together now. So now we need see, this. I hope you can see the image. I know you don't need that yet. So uh -huh. the next thing is to do to frame the kite. What does that mean? Oh, never mind. So you can pause So you actually I so, guess. so after I put all the pieces together, uh -huh. the next thing you have to do is basically use the thread to frame the kite. Right? Okay. So usually what you do is you start here. Right. Oh, then you, you make go like, like a, yeah, you make like a lasso like this. A lasso. A slip knot here. Yeah. A slip what? A slip knot. What does that mean? That's it. That's what that, that what I'm doing. Here. So you make it like here. You start here. What you you do it? You start inside here like this. Mm -hmm. Right. So you make sure this pull like tight. Really tight, and you cannot really like move. Right. Make it real tight there now, right? Yeah. 
Okay. And then you come here like this, right? But you have to. There you go. Yes. So you make sure that it crosses this string. You take it and you play around it. Make sure it looks like really nice, right? Okay, okay. So that, that looks that looks good there. Yeah. So the next so once we have it like that now, the next piece, the next thing to do yeah. is to put the honestly I forget what they call this. But you put in um, a piece of uh, flexible board here so that it could bend. Use holes in it. So basically, we need to drill two holes here. One, two, one, two. We need, to drill, we need to drill one here, and we need to drill one here and here. And you will see how it comes together. So okay, but let's go on the stove. Let's put this on the fire to get really hot. And then we're gonna drill the holes and then come back. And put the last piece or you could get a um before calls? before before we start like paper in the kite okay let's go upstairs all right so the um this is like cooking yeah <laughs> the only thing we're cooking is a piece of iron so we're gonna leave that there on the fire until it get like really red and as you can see part of it there starting to get red already right so we're gonna leave it there for until, how much minutes? Oh, until you get like really, really red. Okay, that. Ooh. See, see, suddenly you get yeah, red, red, red there already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means like it's hot as fire. Ooh. There, see? I see? Don't... Super red right now. <laughs> we just stop here like that now. So, the first hole, just now we need to put it like right here. Um. So, once you put it there, you see? You're just gonna drill through the board like that. That's why you need the heart? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what if it gets unhot? Yeah, I can even smell the smoke. How hot did you make that? See? So it, it goes all the way through. It's even right up there. Yeah. So that's one hole there. So we need to put one here and one there. So let's put it back. So now that we have the holes in the frame, right now we need to put in this here, right? Yes. So you come in and start in one end and put in this. But well, what is this the other? other what is the other hole for? You don't see. Just break my knuckle. Oh, that it won't break in Jesus' name. Amen. Nice, right? So that's there. Dun, 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 dun. So then this comes back on top here now. You get where you want to, to put this, like so. There we go, we have a nice kite here. Uh, and almost kite. And um, yeah, you're gonna fly nice. I think it's a nice ship. Right? So the next thing we need to do now is, is apply. Right, so the next step is to basically paper the kite. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna put glue on all the areas that we want to paper. Okay? 
Can I glue it? Because I'm a good gluer. Can I do it? to fit properly you uh -huh. just make like a small cut right here so alright so it goes down and stay there and make the same thing for here great right. and then you turn you turn the kite on this side oh, right. wow alright and then you cut you cut along the thread so you give a space to bend it so you do this here and you cut you cut like a little outside the like about sorry a little outside like right, like this you don't need to measure that this I'm just seeing how long you make it that's, that's like a inch you don't need to measure it
this guy took like the one I want to do. Which which one should here, Daddy? Which one should we tie up to it? Huh? Which one the bigger one? This it one. Is. <laughs> hey, hey. Now yeah, to tie. Both kites are coming together. I think the cross is a little bit kind of side. It's okay. It's okay. Now, which one do you think it's bigger? I think this one's bigger. Huh? The so this, so this, this is this part is called a maiva. So you put putting a piece of paper like right here. What? So that... How can I even stick on that? You're gonna see so that when the kite is flying, the bridge is gonna blow it and you're gonna go like flip, flip, flip and you're gonna make a noise like... and sing in the air. Right? Oh, yeah, that's so how it sings. Sing. So usually in Grenada when we fly in kite, we usually have it like up and the, the kite fly in the night and it sings the, the entire night so the neighbor and the people in the community usually call the police because the kite will be singing and there is a noise in their heads while they are sleeping so, so that's something no the police would just come and, and say uh, pull up the kite or something like that. so you just measure the size of it so the technique is you measure the size of it okay? so you want it to be loose but what if we just check it outside a little so you measure the size, eh? and then once you have the size measured, then you cut the maybe. So you see that's a perfect size there. Eh? So what you can do now eh, is take this here and do like this. So you, when you're making the maybe, you don't want to cut it like too big. You just want to give it a nice width. Eh? And then sometimes when the wind blows and the kite sings, sometimes the kite, the maiva, um, bust up, like break up. So sometimes you have to pull down the kite and put a new maiva on it and put it up back in the sky. That's why I don't want to put, cut it too big. Yeah. So, so it's even there, that's the maiva now. So this comes like this. So this comes like this there now. Oh, the that's gonna, how it sticks. Yeah, the kite gonna sing. But the thing is, is that usually we don't want to double it, right? Why? So we cut out one side. So we cut out one side and just leave it like. Yeah, just cut. to make the compass so basically don't we have to like tie it on the stick after no. we tie it, that's how we find it so the compass is basically used to get the kite up in the air like a compass is like a guide so you put yeah. up the compass now right. so you'll be able to 
put up the, the kite and control it and control it exactly. and if you want to put it higher or lower yeah people just literally do this and this to do it but so remember the holes that we Yeah, so we need to put the now to identify the holes, right? So remember, so it's all about juking to get the holes. So remember the holes that we, we uh, created? You just have to go the other side. So we get the holes there, see? But right that there. one's blocked over there. Yeah. Yeah. Get it? That's probably impossible. What? Mm. How did ya? What? Let's see? Hole number one. Get it there. How do you and get I will come over here and get the hole. How do you get hole number two? It's blocked up. No, right, right there. Right there, you see? Yeah. Hole number two. Okay. And guess what? Now it's hole number four. Number three. three. Where is it? Where is it? Is it here? I Don't tell me I got it like four strands. Right? So if you cannot get it, just turn it. And the shelf from here. So it's not easier it. to do? Yeah? It's not easier to do? But if you do it like on that side, you cannot sometimes you push it. So, so I'm looking from this side here. Alright. There is another hole there. So these are the holes that we're gonna use to make the compass. Okay, so you thing. do so I understand so you one. do 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 next piece over here now. Oh, that's what the tail. Did you probably do. That's what it's tail. Nobody told me there there's a let me try, let me try. Oh so we have the head compass and the tail compass. There are two compasses. Two compass and a kite. You have two compass uh, and a kite. Can we just call them holes? So you have the head compass and the whole compass. So and the tail compass. So I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna try to get this in here. No, basically you're ready to fly the kite. Right? So once wait, you put wait, the tail, like once you put the tail, you don't even need to do that now. What? So once you put the tail now, then you're ready for you to fly and walk in the sky. Right? So, so you don't need push. that. What are you using for the tail? You don't so even need this. Yeah, we need we need this. This is gonna tie here. Oh. We're gonna tie this. So this is gonna go up in the sky. <laughs> and we'll but then once you get this. Compass in. What you could do, you could try to sing it. Okay. 
<laughs> you get a little do 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 do. This, this, you have to mix this here. You have to hold it at this really one. So this is just, <laughs> this is just to hold it together kind of thing, right? <laughs> but this one is the one that you're really singing it with, right? So listen, all this. Okay. So in Grenada, when I was growing up, mm -hmm. right, we we used to take our mother's bed sheet and make tail, and we used to get in big trouble for that, right? Because we would take the bed sheet, we would strip it a big tail. But we get approval to use this bed sheet right here. So we're gonna use this bed sheet to make the, the tail gist, right? So we want to make the tail long enough so the kite wouldn't boot, 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 boot and you would see what I'm talking about when you put it up but not too long so you just stand up one place we want the kite to move up in the air so the weather, I checked the weather today the weather it's is windy it's kind of windy, right? outside is nice and sunny it's like um, 11 degrees there not so, bad so we, um, we're gonna take advantage of it so it's good Friday today and we're gonna go outside Usually you do this like this. Because um, I don't want to fly the kite in the street here in Canada because Canada is a different place, you know what I mean? Um, so we're gonna go in our park and we're gonna try to put up the kite, right? So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be grand. In the meantime, you know, subscribe, like and share. As I said, my channel is all about spending time with my kids and demonstrating what it is to be a great father because that is the role we are called to do. And we have a lot of absent fathers in the world today, right? So hopefully we can encourage more fathers to take up their role, right? So subscribe to the channel and help us spread the word, right? Jason and I will go out and fly some kites. And you one see kite. us when, he, when, he, when he, we're flying the kite. Yeah. So we have one, we made one for now. So later today we're going to make an, another one and then probably... Flexible. Um, 
It's a Sunday and Monday, we're gonna go out and fly again. So you can see the mess that we made in the basement, guys. Like, we made a little, you know, but we're gonna clean up the place and everything like that and have it looking nice, right? All right, stay tuned. Guys, you ready to go? The breeze is blowing, you ready? Okay, go, 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 ready go, 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 so we are out here folks we are at the park oh, our first kite flying in canada yes, let, it go, let it go let it fly let it go Okay, Jason, so tell us what you're doing right now. Right, so I just signed on the trail there. I just wiggle the tail now. And it kind of like. So that's them, that's them there, folks. <laughs> huh? Why is it following me? Just, you don't follow, just to make any kind of feel, man. Come, come, come. <laughs> Yes, Dillo and her Grenadian kite. <laughs> See that? Okay, my turn. <gasps> I'm gonna let it go. Huh? Go let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? I'm not even seeing it there. Yeah. Shani, Shani has the kite <laughs> in a hand. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Look it up there. Watch it. <laughs> Watch it up there. <laughs> it's so small. Uh, because I put it, um, I put it to fly high. Or oh, I put the compass. It's ready to fly high. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Um, slack it. Slack it. Slack it. Shani, slack it. <laughs> I tied the thread there. Wow. Can't slack move. I don't want to slack it out too much. Why? How's your kite up there, guys? Why? It's so strong. Yeah, yeah, I sing, yeah, I sing. It's strong. He boot into it. <laughs> He's not too strong. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm? Can we run with it? Yeah, go run with it. Okay. okay. We're gonna run with it. Jess, how are you feeling? Holy, holy, Jess. You cannot let go of this. Because if you let it go, you're gonna go. <laughs> so, Jess, let, let Jess fly the kite. Jess, how are you feeling? First time you fly a kite. Yeah. Jess, holy yeah, tread. It's so strong. Okay. See the kite up there? Where is it up there? Oh. <laughs> Look ah. at this! Oh. See that Jess, eh? He's singing out there, I think. So the breeze coming and go. No, it's my time! Jess making the kite. Jess, what are you doing? You gotta, you gotta pull it up and kick up and go. Watch, watch, watch. The kite almost touched the ground. Jess yeah. can't can fly kite, man. Yeah. <laughs> watch, Addy. Oh, 
Oh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, control of Kai Fireman! So the person's leaving out here in Canada. If you like to have um <laughs> if you would like to get your Grenadian kites, um, please check us out. Yeah, proper thing, guys. Proper thing. No chopper thing. <laughs> Yeah, the kite master here. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy behind it, guys. You know, I have to show him a two tricks and, and stuff, you know? Because <laughs> he forget a few steps, so. Give him a few tips. Okay. I wanted to fight. My time. It's fainting. <laughs> Whoa! Why did you do that? Why it's fainting? It's what? come to run yeah but if you want you can go like walk around we come back here and meet us oh gosh we have to get a dog for Naya <laughs> So we are at the park here. Jesus at it again. <laughs> <laughs> 